Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to do my readathon wrap up for August. It took me a little bit to decide whether or not I wanted to do a separate video or just roll it into my weekly wrap up and I decided I wanted to do a separate video because I had done a separate video for my TBR. I am not going to go into a lot of detail about the books I've read though because I did talk about them during my weekly wrap ups so I will refer you to those if you want more information. So I participated actively in two readathons and just a little bit and a third. So I'm going to start with the one that was just a little bit and that was Traconathon. This is hosted by Jay Juniper and the Little Reader's Corner and they do this every August where they give you prompts and the goal is to read books about dragons. And the one book that I read that qualifies for this was The Way Spring Arrives and Other Stories. There were two short stories that talked about dragons. The one that is most memorable to me was the story where there was a dragon that was being held captive in a fancy jar and is woken up and as he's in the process of waking up he's remembering his life and how he has gotten blamed for everything that has gone wrong even when he was only doing what humans wanted him to do and so he doesn't have a good opinion of humans and it was just a really nice take to see it from the other side of how selfish we can be as humanity. That one I really remembered and I enjoyed the collection as a whole. So the second readathon was the was the Autumn Aquanex was the Autumn Aquanex of the Aurelium or the magical readathon that G over Book Roast does. And this the idea behind this is you're in a magical school and you have classes that you then need to read for prompts. And my character Junia is working on being a crafts mage and so she had five prompts and I read four of them. So for inscription I completed both of the ones I needed to do and that was a childhood favorite and a graphic novel. And so for the childhood favorite I have The Rowan by Anne McCaffrey and for a child or er, for the graphic novel I actually read both volume one and volume two of We Only Find Them When They're Dead. I just put volume two here because I had a picture already on file because it's also a new release this year. And then for Artificery, I read two of the three prompts. I have not completed the third prompt. I haven't gotten, gotten past the two chapters in, actually. But the first one was an AI, second one was Gold on the Foil, and third one was a second chance author. So I completed the AI. I read These Prisoning Hills and the Gold on the or yeah, the gold, gold foil on it, Tiger Honor, because the letters are actually raised on the hardback. And then my second chance author was for V. Schwab. I haven't enjoyed what I've read by her so far, but I know she works for a lot of people, and I don't typically DNF authors. I, I owe it, because for me, authors' writing changes throughout their time writing and so I feel like I should always if if the book concept sounds interesting I feel like I should give them another shot so I haven't finished a gallant yet I will finish that before the spring equinox <laughs> that's my only promise and then for new release of thought the one I was co-hosting and we had presented a bingo board so you know really only asking people to read four books I read 11, well, no, I read eight books that complete 11 prompts. The only prompt I did not complete was in an entire magazine. For the boxes that are outlined in orange, those are just the normal prompt, and the purple was the hard mode. So the books read that qualified for the new release of Thon was These Prisoning Hills, Tiger Honor, The Way Spring Arrives, Eclipse the Moon, Notorious Sorcerer, the Memory Librarian, We Only Find Them When They're Dead, Volume 2, and A Prayer for the Crown Shy. Like I said, just a quick 
fast wrap up. I enjoyed my reading month. This was fantastic, but I am now very much in a mood reader and I will just pick up what I feel like picking up. So how did you guys do? What readathons did you participate in in August? And what was your favorite read of the month? I'd love to know.